Passage 6. Listen to part of a conversation between two students. American football. Jim, are you going to the game on Saturday? Well, I hadn't thought too much about it. Well, you really should think about it, and you could come with me. Well, I really don't understand American football or all the excitement about playing against certain schools. Well, if you have a few minutes now, let's go to the cafeteria and get a cola, and I will explain why it's so exciting and part of a campus experience. Sure. I have an hour before my next class. Well, first of all, Saturday's game is the most important game of the season. It is going to be exciting because both teams are really good. You told me that you don't understand American football, but I can explain it to you. I know that the word football may mean soccer to you because you are an international student, but the two are very different. In American football, each team is trying to make a touchdown, and to do that, they start the game by tossing a coin and one team kicks to the other. Okay, but I don't understand too much of what happens after that. Right. Well, after the kickoff, the team with the ball has four times to try to go 10 yards down the field to the opponent's goal post. They can run or pass the ball. If they gain enough yards, then they get four more tries. Well, if they make it all the way down the field and cross the final line, is that a touchdown? Exactly. And that score is worth six points. Then they have a chance to earn an extra point. Which means they can kick the ball through the goal post or run the ball into what is called the end zone for one or two points. One if kicking and two if running. Does that make sense? Yeah, and then the other team gets to try? Right. Now, if one team gets close to the goal line but only has one more down, wait a minute. Let me back up. Each of the four tries is called a down first, second, third, and fourth. If a team doesn't make 10 yards by the third down, It has to decide whether to keep trying and give up the ball to the other team or continue and try to make the rest of the 10 yards. Okay, then tell me what you were going to say about what happens if a team gets close to the final line but only has one more chance? Well, what happens is this the team can either try to keep going, and if it doesn't make a touchdown, the other team will get the ball wherever the ball is. The other thing that will probably happen is that the team with the ball will try for a field goal. That means the team will try to kick the ball through the goalpost just like after a touchdown, but this time they will only get three points if their kick is successful. Understand? Yeah, I think I'm getting the idea, but it is still kind of confusing. Well, I really think you would enjoy the game and watching the crowd and the band at half time. If you aren't working Saturday afternoon, it would be a great break from studies. We could meet at about 12 15 and walk to the stadium. The game starts at 1 30, 30, and the pre game activities are great. The game will be over about 4 30, so you would have your evening to do what you wanted. How about it? Well, it does sound like fun. Would you be willing to explain more to me as the game goes along if I don't understand something? Of course. Why don't you walk over to my dorm? It's on the way from your dorm to the stadium, and then we can go from there. Okay. I will be at your dorm about 12 15. Thanks for asking me to go, and thanks for explaining the game. I think it will be a fun way to spend a Saturday afternoon. I have to run to class now, but I will see you Saturday. Great. So glad you want to go. See you Saturday. Now get ready to answer the questions. You may use your notes to help you answer. Number 30. What does Bob ask Jim? Number 31. What does Bob imply about football? Number 32. What is an example Bob gives Jim about the game? Number 33. Where will Bob and Jim meet to walk to the game? Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. The game starts at 1 30, and the pre game activities are great. The game will be over about 4 30, so you would have your evening to do what you wanted. How about it? Well, it does sound like fun. Would you be willing to explain more to me as the game goes along if I don't understand something? Of course. Number 34. What does Bob mean when he says this? Of course.
This is the end of actual IBT TOEFL 1.